the name of our play is Cube of Nothing. <laughs> Thank you. We see a uh, science lab with Bunsen burners uh, all along the, the table here, which is made of marble. There's a couple of textbooks that are strewn about open. There is a model skeleton here in the corner. The lab is clean, but very disorganized. Books are everywhere. Notes are sort of handwritten in scratched pieces of paper all over the place. Big giant sticker on the back that says, Danger, Radiation. There's the emergency shower for when there's a chemical spill. You stand over here, pull the cord, and you will hopefully not die of the chemical spill. Okay. I know. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be fine. It's totally fine. Okay, so... Do you see it yet? Is a new strain growing? Do I have both of my eyes? 20 years, okay? Both of your eyes. All right. Becca? Yes? Um, I heard about your divorce. Kyle, you are my employee. I would like to keep our relationship as unpersonal as possible, <laughs> okay? We've worked together how long and I just feel like I should be able to say I'm sorry. I feel like I had something to do with it. I don't really want to. I don't want to go into this. I just. Can you just look at the Bunsen burner, okay? All right. It's not boiling yet. Could you turn it on? All right. <laughs> Was it your fault? I just like to tell you that professionally. It's not your fault. Come on. It wasn't your fault. It was falling apart. It was crumbling for a long time. If I hadn't shown up to your house at that exact moment, and your husband saw me there, I, I just feel like, you know, maybe you guys could have made it work. No, we needed a reason, and you were a good reason. Okay. That strain is the wrong one. That's I know, I know, I know. It's already immune to the antibiotics. I was trying something new, and I thought maybe combining them would do, you know, something great, all right? Leave me alone. Becca, sometimes I feel like I know more about your job than you. All right, Kyle, I think you can go now. You've been putting in a lot of extra hours, I've noticed on your timesheet, and we don't have enough money to pay for that. And if I might have to report this to my, my supervisor. I really need the overtime right now. And then sit down and shut up, Kyle. We are in a dimly lit Italian restaurant. Uh, it's one of the ones that isn't too fancy. Uh, it has some sort of ferns here and, uh, you know, the cheap red wine that's in the bottles. There's really cheesy accordion music playing over a loudspeaker and some vaguely Italian singing. The walls are covered with pictures of Naples. <laughs> <laughs> there are bottles of wine on every table, the cheapest wine that you can get.
Let's just try and make the most of our dinner, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, so tell me about school. It's fine. Yeah? Yeah, nothing. Hey, boy. Dad. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so, do you want to talk about what happened between your mother and I? Dad, I just, I agreed to come, I agreed to dinner. I don't want to... There's nothing else you can say that you already haven't said. So it's fine. Okay, fine. And you're okay with Samantha if everything's... And it, okay, I'm sorry, I'm dwelling. It's... It's fine. Okay. Um, How's... Work. Work's good, you know. Um, we've made a lot of progress. Our lab, you know, could really pull something off, and you know, it's only more awkward between your mother and I that you know we're competing. Yeah, I know. Uh, I, I know. I hear about it all yeah, the time. I know, and and I hear about it at school. Oh really? Yeah, I should have been a theater major. Everyone in the lab, even at school, is. You would have been amazing. Yeah. When I think about you back in uh, Cinderella in third grade, yeah. <laughs> you were adorable. Dad, I run A on my micro test. That's awesome. Yeah. Of course, I, Professor Salinger was like, oh, whose kid are you? Why well, wasn't an A plus? <laughs> <laughs> he says hi, by the way. I didn't say anything about it. Don't worry about that. You guys always just suck up anyway, you know, those who can't. He asked how you guys were, and I just said, fine. So. Yeah, no. He actually asked how we are, like me and your mother are. Yeah. So I just said, fine. Just thank you. So you know. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Wow. We see that we are in a dorm room on a college campus. It's pretty messy, uh, typical dorm room. Um, and, you know, there's an Xbox here in the middle. There's an enormous poster up of Ray Lewis. There's another poster next to that with a periodic table of the elements. Empty beer cans are just kind of haphazardly thrown about. Not clean for probably a week. There's a huge bong on the ground. <laughs> Dude, my parents are coming over. Fucking put your ball away. <sighs> They're such a drag, man. <coughs> you gotta smoke less. Dude, I haven't been smoking at all. This cough just keeps on getting worse. You not feeling well? <sighs> you should smoke more. <laughs> if that's not the cause, it's the cure. And Alan, that's your answer for everything. Bobby, I came to college to get to know myself better and get away from my parents, and I feel like, fuck, you're just playing video games, man. Dude, <coughs> I know you haven't gotten laid yet, right? <laughs> and it's your sophomore year, and that's kind of sad. <laughs> but you're cool, and you don't even fucking know it. You just don't act like it. Bobby, you're always here in the room playing Xbox. How am I supposed to bring someone back to the room? Alan, dude, it's just, you're so uptight all the time. Man. I'm treating myself. <laughs> it's medicinal. <coughs> Fuck! I think that weed smoke's making me worse. You are not well, man. I you should go to the health center. They'll give you Tylenol. That's what they always give me. It's been like three weeks now, and like the it's like the cough will go away, and I wake up and I'm just bone tired every day. There's this girl in my macro class, and I was thinking maybe I'd have her over to study. Could you maybe go to the health center like tomorrow <laughs> afternoon? That would oh, be yeah? convenient. About yeah. what time? Three to five. Oh yeah. yeah. What's this girl like? She's cool, man. Yeah, sweet smile. 
tight ass. Dude, what, okay. Okay, number one, don't tell her that she has a tight ass. Okay, that's my advice to you. Well, what's your opening game with her, man? What are you going to say? You got the term coming up. Well, that's it, the old healthy study. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not very good at macro. Dude. <coughs> Bobby, fuck. <coughs> Bobby, open up. Bobby, come on. Hey. Your mom can't make it today. It's just going to be me. All right. Smoking in here? Smoking? It's college. By my son. He has asthma. Come on. I have a little respect. <laughs> do it that often. He doesn't do it that often. Yeah, this is, this That's why right. I'm so fucking. You know what? I'll clear the sometimes. office and get you traded. You can have a different roommate. We like being roommates. Don't do that. Alright, well, just treat, treat your roommate with some respect. How about that? Yeah, I just... let him play the Xbox all this afternoon. <coughs> Look at him. He's fucking dying. Too, you know. Sorry to cause drama. Just Dad is late. Your mom just gave me like <laughs> the one over on the way here. She got out of the car. She left. That's just ridiculous. What you? But where? Like in? She made me pull over on the side of the road, got out, and walked away. Dad, what? She thinks something's going on with me and Becca. It is not. Your boss? Yeah. It's not, I am not at all into her, whatsoever. <laughs> no, say that again one more time. <laughs> Do these socks are on the floor? No, don't, Come on. don't change the subject, Dad. A little respect for your own space. Huh? No, Dad. No, say that one more time. Fool around on mom? We are in an exhibit hall of a um, convention center. Stephen. Mm. Becca. <laughs> oh, wonderful to see you. Hi. I didn't know you were going to be at this conference. Why wouldn't I be? Guess I should have expected to see you here. I got here at 8 a.m. to try and avoid you, but here you are. This is way more my field than you. You did this on purpose. Did what on purpose? You don't need to. Oh be God, you are you always making shit here. up. You're just trying to overshadow me. Oh are you coming to my talk? I wasn't planning on. Stare into my eyes, and you're gonna make me feel guilty, and then I'm gonna lose my space. Why would I trouble. do that? Why would I do that? Why would I do that? Because you're a vindictive jerk. Oh my god. Was I that awful that you would expect this of me now? I tried. I tried. Yeah, we both tried. And it wasn't gonna work. I got your coffee. Oh, Jesus, him too? Hi. Thank you. How wonderful to see you! Too. Yeah. Is he going to our talk? Okay, let's just clear. I will be there, I will sit in the back row. Okay? But I will be there. <clears throat> You're trying to steal our ideas. I'm not trying to steal your ideas. It's no secret that Psycor is interested in the same technology, and we want to hear what you found. That's what you would say. Oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I know that you're taking this really personally, but can you just be professional? Hey, We're you? being professional. We are. We are just colleagues at a conference. Giving a presentation. What are you coffee? I <laughs> and I would expect the same of you. Okay? Well then, 
get me some coffee. That's your fucking lackey. He works for me. I'll get my coffee. See you at the conference. We're going to talk about Samantha later. I'm going to call you. We're in the student health center. Next. That's all. I might need your help. Um, I had this cough. It's like it's the fourth week, and uh, I had this cough, and it's all over. And I wake up, and I'm really achy every day. And uh, now my vision's starting to get blurry. Your vision's blurry? Yeah. How long has that been going on? About a week. And I have not been smoking weed. <laughs> My roommate Wait. smokes a ton. Have you been to a real doctor? I mean, not, you know, a student volunteer? <laughs> not yet, not yet. But, you know, I figured it was time to at least get checked out. I mean, Bobby, I'll, I'll give your chart to the nurse and she'll look you over, but. You look really nice today. <laughs> now I know your vision's blurry. No! I, wait, wait. <laughs> See? No, wait, look, it's good. It's good. Shut up. You look really pretty today. Shut up. Um. <coughs> <coughs> oh, that sounds really bad. Can't get some. It's late night. Not even here to help. <sighs> hey, Dad, what are you doing in the lab? Put, put your goggles on. You're <laughs> so crazy about this. You came in here with goggles like every time. You're going to catch all the diseases in here. That's why I'm covered in everything right now. <laughs> Whatever. Look. Look, am I bothering you? Your boss isn't going to come here. Your dad. Your boss isn't going to come here. She's just my boss. All right, <laughs> Bobby? Nothing happened. I want to make that clear. Dad, look. I got checked out today. I went to student health. About that cough. They gave me a, a chest X-ray. Oh, you fucking roommate. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna put in the forms to have you switch. This is just ridiculous. Uh, <sighs> it's it's not Alan's fault. It's not it's not it's not it's not like bronchitis. And what is it? I don't know. They said there's something, and you I got You and mom got to take me to a different doctor. And then I might be sick. All right, this is going to be a little weird. I'm just going to take a sample. Just open your mouth. Oh, yeah, I'm not Thank open. God. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm still going to send you to the doctor, but I'm going to check this out myself. <coughs> If you need to take some time off school, you can feel free to come home. I don't want to come home with you and mom like that. No way. Well, your mom's actually not at home. She went to stay with her mom. So the your spare bedroom's open again. What? Yeah. It's not a big deal. Don't worry about it. Now you're, you're telling me now. We're going to work it out, all right? When were you going to tell me? I wasn't, because we're going to fix it ourselves. When were you going to tell me? Son, don't you fall. 
fucking touch me. <laughs> I have it worked out with me and your mother. What? Fuck you. How dare you? Fuck you. Coming into my lab. Tell your boss I said hi when she comes in here. Meanwhile, on the lawn outside of the campus student center. Do you know what's wrong with him? I'm getting kind of worried about him. No, they wouldn't let me look at his chart, but... Is that, in, um, like, for privacy reasons, or is that what they do when the cases are really bad? The latter. I'm kind of allowed to look at most of them just for observation, but... Um, I don't think it's good. His dad thinks it's because I'm smoking weed. <laughs> well, that probably doesn't help. As a future doctor, I'll tell you that, but I, I... But they wouldn't have kept a chart from you if that was all it was. I don't think it's that. No. I don't, I mean, I don't really know you that well, but, you know, I, I would just, if, if Bobby listens to it all, just make sure that he sees somebody, because I know he put off even coming to see me for weeks, just... If you talk to him, just tell him to tell him to hurry up and go and see somebody. I'll, I'll let. I mean, I'll follow up. It's hard to sleep. He's coughing all the time. Yeah, yeah, I heard that. So, um, well, listen, I'll uh, get my roommate's notes, and maybe I'll bring him by your room later. That'd be awesome. I'd really appreciate. It. Becca, did you get that sample that I gave you earlier? I gave it to you an hour ago. I got a deadline. <sighs> Shoot. Did you finish this report? No. Last night was rough. I'm sorry. I need you to I had finish to go this. Home. I had to go home. This needs to be done. I know. I know. Did you send that other sample to the lab that I asked you about? The Are special you okay? one? Tell me, did you get that special sample? Are you okay? Did you or did you not get that sample read? I got the sample read. What did it I come don't back like as? This. What's wrong? What is wrong with you? If you got the results, just tell me. That's my son. The sample came from my son. I'm just a little worried. I didn't, I didn't know. I'm sorry. Here. This is supposed to be his estate. These are your son's results? Where, where is he right now? He's at his college. You need to get him out of there. She needs to go to the hospital right now. You need to call your son right now. This is not, this is not good. All right, Rebecca, can you handle the office by yourself? I Just one night. I, I've got it. This is important. I kind of know. don't trust you. <laughs> I'm your boss. I'm gonna pretend you didn't say that. Please leave. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Man, you look like shit. I'm gonna stop. 
Actually, it's making me feel a little bit better right now. Oh, here. <laughs> no, no, no. <coughs> no, Alan. My fucking dad wants me to go home. Well, fuck him, man. Dude, why? You can't drop out of college. You just gotta get better. I don't know. They took some tests. I. Fuck him, man. I think he cheated on my mom with this this bitch he works with. What? Dude, but what's wrong with you? I mean, you're. I don't fuck know, your father. Man. You gotta be healthy. He wants to pull me out, but just fuck, just fuck him. Fuck him. Let's see who that is. <laughs> Hi, is that Bobby? Yeah, <coughs> come on. Hi, are you, are you Bobby? Yeah. Hi, um, Professor Salinger. Um, he, he called me and, and told me uh, about what, what you're going <coughs> through. Um, how are you feeling? I'm sorry. He's really sick. How does it look like I'm feeling? Wait, what are you, what are you? A company I work for is working on a cure for what I believe you have. And we think we have whoa, very strong... Whoa, wait, wait. I know. It, what do I have? What do you mean? <laughs> Who the fuck are you, dude? <laughs> See, that we're in the kitchen. I shouldn't be here right now. What if he comes home? It's fine. You have your cell phone on you. I couldn't find him on campus, I just didn't want to be alone right now. I think he's going to be okay. I made a call. To who? My husband. His company, his company can help your son, and I thought maybe... We can help my son. A doctor can help my son. Why him? I haven't told you, but they're way ahead of us. God damn it. It will leave See, five this is your back. fault. You know? How is it my fault? You have not been running the lab right for the last year and a half. I'm trying to save your son's life at this point. You know, ever since... Ever since you and I... Just forget about it, okay? Dad! Dad! Hi. I'm really happy to see you. You're really sick. Sit down. No shit, I'm really... What the fuck is she Sit doing? Sit down. Some guy came to my door I know. She just told me. It's her husband. Get hands off me. You need to not yell. <laughs> <laughs> Did it keep you in your bedroom? Can't go outside. You're gonna to want to put these goggles on. <laughs> we know what we're doing, okay? It's gonna be okay. Why is she here? I didn't want to be alone. I'm really worried about you. We were talking about you. Just you. This guy says that I'm fucking. It's bad. That's really sick! Bobby, Shut we're gonna cure it. Why are you acting like my mother? Get the fuck away from me! <laughs> Becca, please. Back off a little bit. Fine. Keep yelling. Actually, Becca, could you leave? <laughs> Sorry. Listen, we're gonna get you fixed. This guy says he can help me. Like, like, like I have to go with him, but I have to give him my consent. He says that you guys are working on it too, but they're further ahead of us. I've got to. I'm going to let him do it. The thing is, is really dangerous. Well, why can't you help me? You're working on the stuff too. <clears throat> Our lab hasn't been as efficient lately. We 
been distracted. <coughs> I'm gonna get you out of this. I'm sorry, it's not me. You, talking. you've been, you've been distracted. Yeah. I'm gonna fucking. It's not important right now, right? <coughs> Tell me you're going to sign that consent. <coughs> Bobby. Tell me you're going to sign it. <coughs> so don't think about me or your mom. What's important right now is you. Dad, get me. <coughs> you, better, you, better, you better get me somewhere. Nine one one. You see that we are in a hospital room, and I'm really. something, there's one strain left that is eluding us as of yet. I... <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't talk like that. <laughs> it's hard to predict. Um, you know, we're working as fast as we can to, to perfect. It's getting worse. Why are you more upset? He's dying! This is, this is really bad. <laughs> We're in the right place. Bobby, my dad is really good at what he does. Probably, he's, he's the best. He's really great, so if, if anyone's going to help you, it should be him. Well, the, the cure, you know, is a hybrid. And we have, it, it, you know, it's like a jigsaw puzzle. We have 99 of the pieces, and there's one puzzle piece that's... Just one. It's, I can't see so good. <laughs> what do you need? Just tell me. We're going to consult some outside help against better judgment. Hopefully they'll cooperate. I can't promise anything, but there's oh, another firm that specializes in this, and our companies, our companies have not worked well together in the past. So, um, unfortunately, egos tend to get in the way of this sort of research. You gotta save his life. I'm sorry. Oh, no, 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 Messi. I laid out everything. You, I always, you know what, I'm not, not going to judge you right now. Psycor has sent me to ask for your help. We are very close to curing this thing. We have one subject who's probably less than 10 days away from dying. 10 days away I, from dying? Yeah, it's, it's, it's spread. 
I mean, this is uh, this is at least six months away from being ready. I don't know. I don't know if I can do it in ten days. First of all, are you willing to work with us? You know I am. I know who your subject is. Okay. It's someone's life, all right. It's not because okay, I'm no, no, it's great. sleeping uh, with him. Jesus. Well, this is the Wait, last. Is this going to be a problem no. for you? Yes, but we, we're going to get through it. Can you just be professional because someone's dying? God. All right, these are the last results we have. Mm -hmm. Are these conclusive? Yes. It's from two weeks ago. This is good. This is really good. <sighs> Can you use it? I, I, I think so. I mean, I could never understand or chicken scratch, but you know. Well, if you need me to translate, let me know. We would love to have you come in front of our I don't love your boss anymore. <laughs> they, said, they said it couldn't get any worse. <laughs> deserve to be happy. Everybody deserves to be happy. Then I get you fixed. I'm not quite sure. They say you've got ten days. Busy messing around with my boss, like you would say. This is my fault, you know. I let you come in the lab with no protection. I can't even find the cure to the disease. Are you okay? Um, no. I'm not. I went to visit a friend today in the hospital. And I went to go see him, but somebody was already in the room, so I just kind of gave him some space because they were... about sleeping with his boss. Honey, is it true? Is it true? Yes, it's true. God, Mom. it's true. But that's not the reason why your dad and I are getting divorced, okay? Why didn't you say something? You're my daughter. God, I have been treating dad like shit this whole time. I was on your side. You're my daughter and I love you, so I'm not gonna tell you that I'm the one that made the mistake. But you did! You had an affair! That's, That's why he did. left! I thought he just abandoned us! I thought that he just wanted to give up on you guys Honey, and that be not the reason why. He, we've been falling apart. I mean, since you were 10, we haven't gotten. 
gotten along, all right? Do you want us to be happy? Or do you want us to just fight all the time so that you can have a nice Thanksgiving? I want you to be happy together and be adults who respect their marriage. That's not how it works. <laughs> this. No. Let's not make this dramatic. Come on. You yeah. got a lot of work to do. Do you have this train ready? Yes. I've worked on this all night. Alright. <clears throat> it should be complete. Let me just go save your son's life now. Hold on a second. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to say I'm sorry. Oh, oh, now he's sorry. <laughs> I know you're doing all this work to save my son. I just want to let you know I appreciate it. I'm here to it. save a very nice young man who happens to be the son of the man who ruined my marriage. You're a good man. I don't know what else to say. Please, just, just wanted to say I'm sorry. Okay, all right, all right. We're on the clock here. <laughs> <laughs> Make out somewhere after this. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to stay? <laughs> How are you feeling? Not too bad today. That's, that's, that's awesome news. Looking a lot better. Thanks, Alan. It's good to see you all. Save my lives. What would I do? Just say thanks. Just, just apologize. Thank you. All right, that's enough. <laughs> yeah. Don't have to make it weird. So when are you going to be able to come back to the room, man? It's so empty without you. He's not going back to that room. <laughs> come on! You have a visitor. Hi. Sam. I'll leave you two alive. Um. And. If you wanted to get dinner later, I'd really... Really? Yeah. I, I'd love to. Um, <laughs> good. Yeah, I'll go make a reservation. Oh, good. Yeah. Hey. Hey. How are you feeling? Better, thanks to your dad. Yeah. And my dad. We're pretty great guys. And your mom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not weird at all. <laughs> Thanks. 
so worth it. You are. I would have helped you myself if I knew anything. I, I wish I could have done all that. Did you bring those, those notes for me? Well, yeah. I, here, I can help you read them if you're Thank you.